We're Summer Breeze. We're from Indiana. Thank you for watching this play. Oh. Hope you like it. Here's the first song. It's called Stop the World. I Want to Goof Off.
next Saturday is at your place? <laughs> Me too. That band is, that is really good. Um, if, you're a, if you're a true diehard Saturday is at your place fan, you might notice some familiar faces up here on stage. Uh, shout out Mitch for playing guitar with us. Saturdays was nice enough to not only take us out on tour, but to do 25% of the work on stage for us as well. <laughs> so, thanks Mitch. You're doing great. If you guys see me giving Mitch one of these looks at any point, it's because he was really scared uh, about like doing a good job because uh, the guy who was supposed to make the videos showing him how to play the songs didn't quite get around to doing that. Fucking embarrassing. Uh, uh, and tonight, I've already noticed a few. You can tell he's really fucking coming into his own over there. Throwing some little fucking he's in there. You're doing so good, Mitch. We love it. They love it. We love you. And your great band, Saturdays at your place. Anyway, this really funny intro to this next song was also Mitch's idea, so he, he really is our guy. Here we go.
Saturdays at your place, our, our buddies. Us and them, we get along really well because we're a lot like each other. And one of the ways in which we're all a lot like each other is just being kind of constantly anxious. <laughs> uh, and uh, I have been on a hot streak. The last two shows, I just wasn't nervous for some reason. And tonight, that streak has been broken. I'm just a little jittery. So, uh, I don't know. Sorry, the banter's not going to be as good, but I think we're playing fine. But I was fucking, I was so funny last night. <laughs> You'll just have to take my word for it. But I'm sure you guys are tired of fucking cheesesteak jokes, and I got nothing else. <laughs> Shout out Dylan, two Pete, back to back gigs. I hope Dylan likes attention. Forgot that not everyone loves being pointed out in a crowd. Sick. Oh, I do like some Of course, you like attention. I know our demographic. Shout out to the Spy Kids franchise. On the count of three, hold up between one and three your favorite movie of it. One, two, three. Oh, yeah! Another peer crowd! Holy shit! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I thought I was exaggerating when I said this the other night, but now this is another data point that proves it. Pretty much every time, the only two results we've ever seen when we do that poll are all over the place, like varied answers, or like near unanimous too. It's like the only things we've ever seen when they've asked that question. So clearly you guys have good taste, because I, I saw just about nothing but twos. Yeah. All you ones and threes out there, don't worry. We can't see your faces. You're good. And fours, via con Dios. <laughs> There's nothing we can do for you. <clears throat> How about that band, Elephants Jake? Oh. <laughs> The fact that Sal's the only person that found that funny makes me happy. That's all I know. Like, happy. That's the best way we could show appreciation to Elephant Jake by just doing something really punishing and unfunny on stage that only they'll find funny. What's up? Cover lock Anyway, we love Elephant Jake. If you haven't seen them before, see them some more. They play in your hometown a lot. I put my capo on the wrong thing. But <laughs> there are fucking band soulmates. We love them so much. Me and Sal are just talking about how rare it is to get along with people as well as we get along with them. We love them. Cool. We have three songs left. Here's two of them. Right in a row. <laughs> I can't help but feel like that was my fault. <laughs> oh my god. First Wait till you hear the first line of this fucking song. <clears throat> Nothing's ever really no one's fault. But I can tell by the face you made when you tried to say that was the case. You just knew I already felt like shit. If we both know who's to blame for this, then what's the point in either of us?
song. It's the first song I ever wrote. It's called Little At Least I'm Not Fading. shows is a lot of work so thank you Jace and the whole team I know that there are other people involved but uh, you can blame Jace for not mentioning any of you by name I guess <laughs> that sounded <laughs> I'm joking <laughs> cool we have one last song um, and it's about uh, this doing this thing that we're doing um, and when you quit your regular teacher job be a substitute teacher so you can play in a band. Makes you feel a little stupid because uh, you don't make as much money or make your parents prouder or anything like that. Um, but then you get to go on tour with people like Saturdays at your place and you get to make these like super lasting and amazing friendships like we have with Elf and Jake and being here and you guys just having fun and freaking two shows in a row, Dylan. I just, all that other stuff makes me not feel stupid yeah. for doing this. <laughs> Thank you. That's nice. Wow. That was sustained. Thank you. Uh, and, but anyway, it's kind of about you now, because you're here, so you're part of this. So thank you for being here. Um, I hope you enjoy Saturdays at your place. I hope you keep supporting Elephant Jake, keep supporting the Ukrainian club, keep standing with Ukraine. Thank you for having us here. Anyway, here it goes. It's called Bury Me at Penn Station. And it's about Penn Station East Coast subs, which is a sandwich chain in the Midwest. It's not about that, it's about you. You know. Learning to be happy where you're at.
Saturday. Stick around. We love you. Thank you. Bye.